here Y'all need to make way Okay, so we're here at News Cafe at Salma's latest single video launch. We're talking non-stop and this one features Cactus Agony. Let me just add that I saw him upstairs and he looks mighty, mighty hot. I see it in your ways that you appreciate my loving. eat it up, I'm gonna get I am dying. I can't wait to see it. It's I think there's like 30 minutes to go and I'm just, I'm shivering. I saw the teaser and it was really, really an amazing video. Salma has made quite the comeback. I can see Eddie Black already. Eddie Black, baby! How are you doing? It's so good, so good to see you. I haven't seen you in forever. Yeah. How are you? Uh, I'm good, how are you? You okay? Yeah. Okay, looking good as ever. I think I quite enjoy really what you should stop. <laughs> <laughs> I should stop. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm okay, thanks. Yeah. Um, before I get into Salma, because you know Salma's been out underground and she's come back. Yeah. You have been underground too, what are you doing? I'm working on a lot of stuff. Mm. I'm working on videos, I'm working on new music. We're doing my album. Okay. Yeah, we're recording my album, so it's going to be dropping soon. Right. I'm going to have a few videos coming. Okay, yeah. what are you calling your album? Is there a name for it? Black Supremacy. Okay. So it was kind of like we're supposed to drop it before and then, yeah, and then, mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> Summer's video. Yeah. I can't wait to see this video. I saw Where's the rest of the video? You know what I mean? I saw, I saw the teaser and it's hot and I can't wait to see the the whole thing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. I've seen a lot of people come through and it's gonna be big. It's gonna be like the biggest video launch this year. Yeah, I haven't seen anything. Yeah, I hope there's another video coming though. But this is the biggest right now. This is the biggest I've seen. Yeah. yeah. Great job in the US. I'm great, thank you. So Salma's video launch. Have you seen the teaser? Yeah, yeah, uh, we did see the teaser. Okay. Looks good. Alright, and what, what do you guys think so far? I mean, it was a snippet, but hey. So far, man, just video. Okay. Yeah. Alright. What are you video. expecting tonight at the launch? Uh, just a lot of networking. Yeah, a lot of that. Yeah. Okay. Am I allowed to say that I directed it? Or it's a secret still? People don't know I directed it. They, they don't know? Yeah. Shock, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm amazing, right? You're the genius. I'm amazing, right? Did you really direct it? Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Alright, great stuff. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's good to have such events where the whole industry comes together to network and, you know, get things moving. So, it's a good step for everybody. Um, now, Summer's been on the low for a bit. How do you feel about her comeback? I mean, it's, it's, it's obviously a big comeback. But I, and, and the women, there were not a lot of women doing their things. So how do you feel about her comeback? Before, before this particular song, like, she was actually on the Tuntula remix. So, you know, yeah. And yeah. she went low-key the last time. And when she came back, she was on Boza. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey and she was on Shaka Zulu on a Boza. Yeah. Hey guys, we get it. <laughs> we get it. No, tell us about Yeah, we, we, we did a song. Like, me and Tama did a song, like a couple of songs together, actually. She's uh, on two songs on my album. I featured on the album as well. And she's on Itunchulu with a lot of other people, but Zonfan. Like, I just didn't put Zonfan on that. Cause I'm tired of Zone Fam. Like I'm, I'm so tired of Zone Fam. Okay, okay, okay. You guys talk too much. It's nice talking to you, but tell me that I look hot before you go. I look hot before you go. <laughs> that is great. No, it's been great talking to you, you look guys. Amazing. Thank you, thank you. You guys look hot too. I wish I could have all of. I bought your outfit. That's a secret as well. He does everything. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so that was Zone Fam. They just came in, and obviously we are all looking forward to watching this great video. Again, for those of you who arrived early, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Andre Makulu. I'm your host for this evening and I'd like to welcome you all once again to tonight's grand occasion for the premiere of Sama Sky's latest video, Non-Stop. I'll just 
speak on behalf of Sky Music Group, um, which is the label that's representing Salma. I know a lot of you have been following and thank you for liking Salma, whether it's on Twitter, on Facebook and all those other things. Shout out to all of you and let's keep supporting each other, keep it Zambia, keep it real. Give it up for the director of this fantastic video. Give it up, um, We worked very hard to bring this video to you, so we surely hope you appreciate it. Cactus is here tonight. Cactus, please. Um, welcome, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for attending. And you're all your always amazing people. See you right here. And, and uh, all us, the actors, and we got everybody up in there. And this is wonderful, you know. Salma, we've come a long way, lived in the same neighborhood for so long, you know, and um, she actually featured on my album, The African Dream, a song called Love Boat, and this is our second collaboration. So um, I'm really proud to be part of this, we've come a long way, you know, truly, truly, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit emotional here. I'm just proud of everybody, this is it, non-stop. Give it up for Salma Sky! video and my goodness it is hot it is a really really hot video and standing next to me is Chambo how are you doing hi I'm again. so happy I know again yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so I'm so happy like that I've seen the video because I thought it was great the quality is great the styling is great the lighting is great I'm really just excited for what's gonna happen in Zambian music because we need to be upping our game each time like Tivo was saying in the speech I really like what he said in the speech I thought that was awesome talking about the Sky Music Group and stuff and talking about how they want artists in Zambia to raise the bar so that's very important and I think it was on point and of course that's something we all need to do um another thing is did you watch the teaser did you did you see I the, did teaser? Watch the teaser how, how did you feel I mean the build up it's just been like okay I really want to watch the video I really want to watch the video and then find it what's funny is I hadn't even heard the song fully I heard the teaser and like that's it yeah. so when I came here it was like nothing else I was like oh, I want more I was really like yeah it's yeah. about time yeah I was really I'm really proud of what they've done it's yeah. really nice it's They're something doing... you want to tell people this is from my country this is from Zambia this is yeah that's good Luna baby Woo! can I still call you that yeah after the whole rap kind of thing <laughs> Can I still call you that? Yeah, Kangona, I mean Kangona, that's my like uh, my my my, re my my record label. Like just for music, we call it Kangono. It's all about how you count your money. I count it like big. <laughs> okay, so we're here at Summer's video launch. We just watched the video. Yeah. What did you think of the video? It's international, man. We need to do that. Uh, respect to the director of that video. I'm like. Wow. Wow. Yeah, man. I'm, I, it's, 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 a, it's a shut up video. Like, what are you saying? You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Like, if someone says, you can't say anything, it's just shut up video. And you know, she's been, she's been quiet for a while. How do you feel about her comeback? Is this the right song? Is this the right video? Is this the right time for her to come back? You know, I, I know there's not a lot of females in our industry um, doing their thing. So, how do you feel about her comeback? She's come back with, the, with, with a lot of energy. So, they. This, this okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me give, let me, let me give a password to the other divas. Mwombe <laughs> shy. That's rough kid for you. He always tells us. Have, have you worked with Salma before? Um, yeah, on, uh, yeah, on shows. Oh, on shows. Not, like, I think you should collaborate. Yeah, that's what I think. I that's, think that, that if that's you the two first thing. together, you yeah. know, it's gonna be awesome. That's, that's the first thing that I that came to my mind when I was watching that video. I was like. Uh, I think I should do it so yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. representing, really. Okay, yeah. great. What did you think of the video? I mean, we just watched uh, it. Awesome video. What did you think? You know what? I know Tibo is like a wonderful, you know, but 
This one is put it off like off the chains. Uh -huh. It's it's on another level, you know, jealous down. Um, I don't think Africa it's on African level. I think it's BET material. You can export this to everywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So let's not limit our, our potentials and maybe look at Africa, but I think it can go all over the world. It sounds international, it looks international. The artist is beautiful, she looks it, and the voice, I mean, everything is at one point. Uh, cactus Agony. Yeah, I was just about to ask you, Cactus on the song. You know, I, Cactus, I know Cactus from the time I started my music, like way back in the, you know, early, in 2000, you know what I mean? And our cactus has always maintained this style. Even when there was this revolution of doing vernacular, cactus always kept to drill with its original and authentic. And I think it's about time that, you know, the world had to, you know, pay attention to him. He's a great artist. He's a great artist, yeah. Okay, it was, it was great talking to you. I'm always happy What's to that? see you. And yeah. you know me, I'm always you going to like scream, Sanga <laughs> Quailville! <laughs> now you're going to let the <laughs> homeboy start calling <laughs> me that. You know Sanga Quailville! Let's go! This boy be tall, dark, and handsome. Some birds look hard, tell the ransom. Got that kind of walk that leaves me feeling weak. It's deep brown eyes with the keys to my knees. When I saw you across the room Shivers went through and through There's more to what I saw Cause I saw me in you I wanna be close to you Walk right across the room Get a closer view I'm pretty shy But you're the guy I can't explain why But love Go fly, baby.
video by Salma Sky featuring Cactus Agony has been released to the public. The amazing video was done by, as you can see, Sky Music Groups with the major producer Tivo Shikapwasha and I'm privileged to have with me the lady herself, the lady of the day, the lady of the night, Salma. Hi, hi Jane. How are you feeling? I feel good. I'm very glad that we've um, finally launched the video. It's been a journey for us, um, but a, a fun one. Obviously, creatively, it was it was challenging for us. And now that we finally come through, I just hope that you know people will enjoy it and embrace it, and Zambia and beyond. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about where the video will take us. Um, as Alma Sky as a brand, I feel like. Um, this is definitely a, 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 a precise reflection of who I am and so yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm very happy that Cactus worked with us. Um, is, a, is a great friend and another fellow artist that I appreciate, you know, so um, I'm glad, I'm happy, I'm so glad you guys came. <laughs> um, I want to thank, first of all, um, Salma and Tivo and the whole Sky, um, you know, organization for picking me to be on this song. Um, this is the second collaboration I've done with Salma, uh, another song called Love Boat, but I mean, one thing I love about Salma is that she challenges herself, she competes with herself, not with others. And I think the best artists do compete with themselves, and it shows. So, she never, she's never sits in one place for too long, you know, she knows what she's doing and she's calculated, so it's really enjoyable to work with her, the way Tivo and, uh, I mean, Tivo and myself go way back as well. So it was real easy in the studio, we knew what, what we wanted to do, and as soon as I heard the track for the first time, I knew it was a game changer. And How do you rate the video? Uh, I've seen quite a lot of Zamba music videos. Um, um, most of them are quite very good, I must say. But what we saw was absolutely excellent. It was just out of this world. Um, it was very nice when Tivo was talking about the fact that the video was actually shot in Zambia, you know, at a warehouse somewhere. You know, if you see the video, you'll be like, oh, okay, they probably went out of the country and, you know, but you see, they used a lot of uh, creativity and, you know, it's fantastic, great video. There's very few videos like those. You being on the original version, how does it, how do you feel seeing the remix with Cactus Agony? Well, it feels really, really great. You know, we we since we were on the original of the song, it was a lot of studio time. It was so much fun recording the song. It's always fun being in the studio with Salma and Tivo. So seeing Cactus in the remix, Cactus is like my older brother, and he's so amazingly talented. And I like the touch that he brought to it. The dancehall feel it's just beautiful. It's amazing. Maybe I will start by asking you, Dear Devil, what made you try to, to, to do something different? Um, you know. I I feel like if I put myself in a box with any genre of music, I won't be doing myself any justice because I feel like it's the only way you grow is if you try and so I need to push the envelope in places where people wouldn't normally go to see how far I can reach and um, I feel like if I don't allow myself also to be as expressive as I am naturally as a person through my music then I won't reach my full potential. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I, I'm not afraid to try and I, I would encourage other Zambian artists to do exactly the same. I don't think that we should confine ourselves to a certain sound. I think it's important for us to be R&B Zambian artists, to be reggae Zambian artists, you know, and, and, and be able to move across the border and be appreciated by everybody in the world because a genre identifies a specific person and a specific group of people but it allows you to identify with people outside the people that you call your family which are the fellow Zambians so we want to make the family grow beyond the Zambian borders and I feel music like this is what helps I need it in my life